Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, this tutorial will be on the Tab Controls 2. So, we'll learn how to add and remove tabs from the Tab Control programmatically. So, let's add a Tab Control to our form. Tab Control. Something very basic. And because we are adding the tabs programmatically, dynamically, I will remove these two default tabs. And uh, we'll add some buttons. And I want to say the name, the text that appears in the tab, so I will add a text box. So we can type the text for the tab and a button to remove the selected tab so let's double click the add button and uh, here to add some tab to the tab control we simply say tab control dot tab pages dot add and here we can pass the text that will appear in the tab so we are going to type it in the text box so text box dot text so that's simply it so if I uh, I click multiple times it will generate multiple tabs I don't want that I want only one one name for each tab a unique name so to first actually I, I will do this condition later I will first uh, do the code to the remove button so to remove something we just say tab control dot tab pages dot remove at and this expects a uh, index of the of the tab so the tab page and we'll say that uh, we'll get the index for the current selected oops to the selected index of the tab control now if you if we run this So if I select an index, uh, if I select a tab page and I click remove, it will remove the selected tab page. So now we need to fix the the multiple adding of our uh, tab pages. So to do that, we can we will we'll create a, a method. So public this will try to look for the index of a, a current existing tab page with the same text that we are trying to add if it doesn't exist it will return a no so I, need to, I will return an int and because the index could, could be null if there ain't no no tab pages existing with it, the, the text that we are trying to add I will type the interrogation mark after the int so that the int by itself it, it doesn't accept doesn't accept a, a new value so if we if we add the interrogation after it we can do it so int equals new whoops I need to say a variable name which will be index so if I would remove this interrogation I would get an error because the int doesn't uh, accept uh, new values so public in <laughs> what I was trying to do anyway uh, what could be a nice name for this method I don't know it's like some search search uh, index index search index anyway 
and we'll expect a string which will be the text that we are trying to add so now what we'll do is declare uh, an int also with the interrogation mark and this will be equals new and we will return index now now we'll, what we'll do is uh, for each tab pages for each tab pages tab page in tab control dot tab pages what this for it will do is cycle through all the tab pages existing in the whoops, all the tab pages exist existing in the tab control so and I will say that if tab page dot text equals text then we'll then we'll assign the index of this current tab page to the in to our variable right here so index equals uh, tab tab oops tab control dot tab pages dot selected um, index of tab page so now we are getting the index for our current tab page in the for each and if it doesn't uh, the text is not present in any of the tab pages it simply won't get in here and it will by default return null so that's our method and now in the add button we'll just create a variable also with the interrogation mark because it will be possible for it to be null so int index equals search index text box one dot text and I will do an if index equals null then we'll add the tab page to the tab control if it's not then we will select the tab page of the text that we are trying to add so whoops tab page dot selected index equals index now I will probably get an error because uh, the selected index is an int and I'm trying to assign it an int uh, with the interrogation uh, mark. So I just need to cast this to an int32 and that's it. And so uh, we'll also select uh, set the, the selected index in when we add it so we know that we added a new page. Selected index equals uh, because we are adding it will always be the last so tab control dot tab pages dot um, count let's see how that goes now if we run it tab 1 I added the tab 1 if I try to add it again again it won't go tab 2 well that's not working anyway tab 2 tab 3 and now if I try to if I am at the tab 1 and I try to add tab 3 it will go to the tab 3 but our code of adding the of selecting the last uh, index when we add it and you when you, when you add a new tab is not working because I don't know why Tab five. Let's see how that goes. It's getting in five. 
five. Well, it's not working, but that doesn't. That's anyway. That's not a big deal. So that's simply it, guys. If you guys have any type of questions, just ask down in the comments. See you guys next time.